Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and welcome to my Nard playthrough series. And today we're going to be playing page 51. That was called The Simpsons, or Simpsons, 2-4. I don't think The Simpsons was around in the 1930s and 40s. And this is a very, very simple straight-ahead solo. Not much to it. Uh, just use your wrists on the triplets and look out for that sticking, uh, this right here. Sort of a reverse lesson 25 thing here without the drags. Uh, just follow that sticking that he gives you. So I was doing that solo at quarter note equals 120. We'll do it for you now slower. Quarter note equals 102. One, two, one, two. Next on the page is a solo called Snapper. Uh, this one is a little bit tricky, and I have some alternate stickings that I use. So I'll play it alternating first, and then I'll show you some other stickings you can try. So we'll do this one at 120, and that's the quarter note. One, two, one, two. So you see what a struggle it is there to play these triplets and then play a flamicue right after that. It's not difficult slower, it's much more difficult at 120. So if you want to play these fast, you know, and a lot of these are meant to be played anywhere from 116 to 120 or above, that's the way those guys played them back then. What you want to do is maybe change the sticking up. So uh, a good solution is to do uh, this sticking on the triplets, right, right, left, right, right, left. So, And that leaves your hand more relaxed to play that flamicue. So we'll play this one time through at 120 with that sticking. One, two, one, two. And again, you can mix and match. I'm not sure I would play that sticking like I did there for the elongated triplets that go the whole bar. But these stickings are up to you. They're not written, so you can, you can change them uh, and do what you need to do. So the last solo on this page is called 2-4 Nightmare, and it is tough. And what makes it so tricky are these strange dynamics that are written and the way they're written. They just kind of pop up on you. Uh, so we'll do this uh, solo at 120 as well. And we'll see what happens. One, two, one, two.
very, very tricky. So in the beginning, the first row, I don't know if that's piano or not, it doesn't say, but the first measure is. So I'm playing that role a little bit louder, and then I'm playing the first accent, forte, and then I'm coming down a little bit, like this. Instead of... So you can interpret that how you want. Uh, either way, it's totally doable, but it is tricky. So we'll play it that way now for you, uh, as written. One, two, one, two. So you see how those dynamics sit and they just come up so fast you got to be really careful and try to make as much a difference as possible. So we'll play this solo for you now slower at 102. One, two, one, two. And there's just a slight difference between the forte and the fortissimo there. So I hope you enjoyed page 51, and we'll be back soon with page 52.